Hi everyone. I want to give you a quick demo of what we're doing with the Kendo UI Lint tool and the Vim integration for that tool. Now, if you're not familiar with linting tools in general, check out this recent blog post by Burke Holland on protecting your mellow with JavaScript linters. It goes through some of the finer points of where linting comes from and how it's useful in showing us errors inside of our systems before we actually try to run it inside of our browsers. So linting tools are pretty amazing, and I really like the linting tool that we've built for Kendo UI configuration specifically. Now the Kendo UI linting tool and the Vim integration are part of the Kendo UI labs. You can head over to labs.kendouai.com and find out more information about all of the different projects that we have, including the Kendo Lint tool and the Kendo UI Lint in Vim integration. So like I said, I'm going to talk about the Vim integration, which you can find here on GitHub. And what it does is allows you to use your favorite Vim editor and have the Kendo UI linting tool run directly inside of it. So I've got a very basic configuration of a Kendo grid right here, but I have a couple of options that are frankly invalid. Um, if we tried to run this, these really wouldn't cause any problems, but it's not going to do us any good to have these here because they just, they aren't things that the Kindle grid recognizes and uses. So what I can do in order to verify this is run the Kendo UI linting tool by hitting colon KUI lint as a uh, command right here in my Vim editor. And when I hit enter, it tells me that I have two errors in my code. And it's using the Vim location list so that I can select this, just hit enter right there, and it takes me right to the line where the problem is. I can move back down into this buffer, hit enter again, and it takes me to the second line. Now, of course, if I clean these up, in this case, don't put any options in there, and then I rerun the KUI lint tool, it gets rid of all of the errors and tells me that I have no errors inside of my code. So this is a pretty awesome little tool. It'll validate your configuration for you, tell you whether or not you have all your Kendo UI configuration options correct without having to open up the documentation and constantly switch back and forth and verify and all of that trial and error junk that we tend to do as developers. So hopefully if you're a Vim user and you're building Kendo UI applications, you'll want to install this little tool, the Kendo UI linting tool, and then the Vim integration as well. You can head over to Kendo UI Labs on GitHub and the Kendo UI Lint.vim project, and you'll see installation instructions and everything else that you need to know in order to get this up and running.